If you're somebody that visits Universal, you've heard of Orlando and former. But what you may not know is that there's some things that you should and shouldn't do when you come to a meetup. So today, we're gonna talk about the five biggest mistakes we see people making at the event. One of the biggest mistakes that we see people make is not taking advantage of all of the time that you get in the parks. So the Orlando Informer meetups are an after hours event. It's nighttime, it is after hours, the parks are officially closed to daytime guests, but your ticket gets you in before the parks close. Typically, like today, you can get into the parks at 5 p.m. and you can also pick up your tickets as early as 3 p.m. So what we suggest doing is getting here three o'clock pick up your tickets, and then when five o'clock rolls around, you can head into the parks and start having fun. If you've been researching the event, you've probably seen that the food usually starts a little bit later at night, but don't worry, they do have a remedy for that. At the last few meetups, when you pick up your tickets, each person also gets a $15 food and beverage card that's good anywhere in the parks and even some places out in CityWalk. So that way, you'll keep your tummy full until the free food starts flowing. Oh yeah, all the food and non-alcoholic beverages? They're free, including donuts. The next mistake that we see people make all the time is not knowing about the exclusive entertainment and food offerings here at the event. So a lot of people assume that the food is just like popcorn, hot dogs, or whatever, and it is way more than that. A lot of the restaurants here at Universal are open for the event. When you buy tickets, you will get a lot of emails, but those emails contain a lot of very important information that will make your trip better. So for instance, Cafe La Bamba right behind us. We did a video, they recently opened for daytime operations. However, if we hadn't got those emails, we wouldn't know that there is an exclusive taco bar here tonight just for this event. You guys know how we feel about tacos. And yes, we also said exclusive entertainment, like the speakeasy we're in right now. You can only attend this at an Orlando Informer meetup, but the exclusive food and entertainment does change. They don't always have a speakeasy. They're not always gonna have the taco bar. So make sure you check those emails to see what they are gonna have when you're attending. The next mistake that we see is people not paying attention to when certain rides and restaurants close. Now, not a lot of the rides close early, but some of the bigger rides, the outside rides, the coasters, they close because there's noise ordinances in the area. If you don't know what an ordinance is, I don't blame you, it's a big word. I don't know either. There's Google, you can look that up. But basically, people are trying to sleep while we're sitting here having a good time. So we get it, they close down some of the, uh, some of the roller coasters an hour, an hour and a half before the event actually stops. So if you're wanting to ride those, make sure you get on them early. Oh yeah, the rides. The rides are open and most of them are right now. With the restaurants, the snack carts where you can get things like pretzels and churros and popcorn, they usually stay open all night long. So up until the very end of the event, you can go grab whatever snacks you would like. But the restaurants, so both the quick service and the full service restaurants, they typically close down about an hour before the event ends because they do need time to like clean everything up before the end of the night. So if you are curious about what time things are going to be closing on the night that you're coming to the meetup, again, Check that email. Very, very, very important information in the emails. The next mistake is not planning for it to be a late night. We used to do this a lot. So you'd come in from out of town, you're excited to get to the parks, you show up for EPA, when you do have an Orlando Informer event that night. And then by the time you get here, you know, 10, 11 o'clock rolls around, you're tired. Like, Real tired. You don't want to eat. <laughs> Actually, you do want to eat, but now you're full. And your you feet know, hurt. And you know what happens when you get full. You sleep. <laughs> also, it's not just people that have tickets to the parks during the day that do this. It's also people that are trying to make a quick trip out of one of the meetups, and they plan to travel down the day of. We know that sometimes you can't avoid it, but if you can get here the day before and give yourself some time to rest, it's going to make your experience at the meetup so much better. We talk all the time about going back to the hotel or your room and taking like a midday break and yeah. that's really smart because it rests you and your stomach because yeah. by the end of the night if you don't leave here full you've made 
the biggest mistake of them <laughs> all. The next mistake that you can make is not buying your tickets the day that they go on sale. And this is a mistake for a few different reasons. The first one is because tickets can and do sell out, specifically the two night tickets, which are a substantially better deal to get that Friday, Saturday combo. So you wanna buy those ahead of time. Also, we mentioned the speakeasy earlier. So in the past, there have been some different ways that you get access to the speakeasy, but for this meetup, you had to purchase your tickets in the first 24 hours and able to get into that speakeasy. And you don't wanna miss that. We're just gonna sit here and drop and eat some free popcorn, <laughs> cause I'm clumsy. We love these events. We do wanna say a big thank you to Orlando and Fort Worth for inviting us out. Yes, absolutely. We love them every single time. These events are so much fun. We'll put a link to Orlando and Fort Worth's website down below so you can learn some more information about the meetups in case you're interested. But you can also check out this video right up here from one of our previous meetup experiences. Thanks for joining us guys and we'll see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.